So if I'm selling my business, why do I need a succession plan? Well, there's a couple of good reasons. And the first reason is that if value is tied up in your head, if you are the reason why the business is successful, and you walk out the door, so does the value go with you. So one of the obvious reasons why you may want to have people under you that can move up into senior management position is that they will represent corporate knowledge to the buyer. So when there's a transition from you to the new owner, these people can help with that transition period. Another reason why you want a succession plan is because it's highly unlikely that the entrepreneur or business owner will go with the deal. Entrepreneurs in general make very bad employees. They are used to making decisions quickly, they don't want to be accountable, they don't like committees, they don't like filling out pieces of paper, and they certainly don't want to wait for permission to do something which they think is critical to the future of the business. Remember that they're probably cashed up and they probably want to do something with the money. They probably don't have the motivation or the incentive to work in another corporation and certainly away from where they have control. Now the same argument would apply for your chief financial officer, your chief operating officer, probably your sales director, probably your operations director. The entire senior management is going to get cleaned out for one reason or other when the business gets sold. Remember also that the culture of a small business is not the same as the culture of a large corporation. And many people who are comfortable working with small businesses are simply not comfortable working in a large organisation. So the research shows us that most of these people will in fact leave. Now, your smart buyer knows this. The smart buyer knows that most of the senior management will either not transition to the new owner or will leave shortly after the acquisition. They will factor this into the price they're going to pay for the business. You need to convince them that even with the departure of the owner or the senior management team, that in fact there are people in the business with the knowledge of the business that will enable the business to continue under new ownership. So that succession plan is absolutely essential to removing this critical risk from the buyer. The other factor you need to take into account is that you need some of these senior managers and key employees to go with the deal. You want them to actually stay for perhaps a period up to 12 months after the deal goes through in order to allow time for knowledge to transfer into the new owner. So these people in fact have to be empowered with the knowledge and with the capability to run the business during this transition period. So once again, a succession plan is absolutely essential.